hello. <laughs> so today is day four, technically, of the new, new journey. Still no idea what I'm gonna call it. But today was a good day. Today, okay, so I'm mentally whew, exhausted. Today was the first real day at work. And by real day, I mean not a training day where there's meetings, but like the first day that is going to look like what the day to day of this position that I have will look like from this day forward. <laughs> I made 117 calls and left just a fuck ton of voice messages. Actually got to talk with some people, tried getting past the gatekeeper on others, um, and then had one person who called back. Um, the call person who called back didn't go very well because the, well, the voicemail technique I was using um, is like, like if, I'm not gonna say like like, hey, I'm Duncan calling from Plans Well. Um, are you, like, uh, call me back, whatever, better than that. <laughs> because they're gonna know it's a salesperson and they're not gonna call back. But if I say going like, hey, I'm curious if you're looking to to build your books a bit more, like, like can, are you taking on new clients? That will get a call back because they potentially think it might be a customer. However, the tricky part about that is they will be deceived. So then when they call me and I'm not who they thought they, I were, I then have to overcome that initial distrust which again, I have to brainstorm to figure out and, and, and try out different sort of things to see what would work better. But all in all, I'm happy with myself because it is the first day that I actually did, like I, I, I proved to myself I can make 117 phone calls in one day. And I didn't even, I didn't even have the full eight hours of the workday to do it because there were like two 45 minute meetings. So technically I did 117 calls in five and a half hours. That's pretty good. Here's the other thing though, is because sales is the thing that you're living in the world of, where do I wanna go? On one hand, it seems rather discouraging the fact that I made 117 phone calls, but didn't, that didn't turn out into any sort of demo or any sort of uh, sale or anything like that. However, it does show to me that I am capable of enduring that monotony and boring, difficult work if I so choose and focus on doing so, which in and of itself it is, is an accomplishment because if I do that thing consistently over a long period of time, results will be generated because the alternative would have been making only 70 phone calls, having the same result, but not feeling nearly as mentally exhausted at the end of the day, but then I'm only half as far along as I was with the result that, or almost half as far as long with the result that I have today. So if I do this again tomorrow, we'll just round it to 120, then that's 240 call, phone calls at the end of the day versus if I just did 70, having 140 phone calls. So like a full hundred behind. Again, at this point in time, I just need to get the reps in and train myself to believe that calling more than 100 people in one day is the baseline. I just need to break that belief, which is what I'm in the process of doing and it's working. Another thing, I like the company that I work for for the very fact that, okay, number one, the sales managers are very encouraging, so that, that's, that's good, and they know how to, to manage in an online environment because they will, like in the Slack channels, recognize people being like, oh, look at this person doing something good and like shout them out, which like really, I mean, like I've, I've been shouted out, I know I have been shouted out in situations like that, and it really makes me, it fires me the fuck up, and then I go like, okay, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna push harder. And it's like, that's all, that's all you, you really need. But the other thing is, because it is an online company and we're using HubSpot for the CRM, but in that you can see, am I in the right path? Where does that one go? You can see 
the statistics for the other account executives. So there was this one guy who kept, like, at, like we were in a competition, at least I felt I was, because I wanted to call more than him at lunchtime. He had 50 at lunchtime. I didn't take lunch until I had 60. So that it was like, okay, I have a head start. Now, at some point in the day, he finished the day with 122. But again, it was just every time I looked at that, I could see someone behind me catching up. So then I couldn't stop. And I also could see that guy's score going up. So then I also couldn't stop. So then I'm just, I'm in an environment which facilitates the high volume calls and dials that I want to be doing. So it's like now I have a, I no longer in an in environment where there's a mismatch between my goals and the company's culture. Like now it's like, you want to push yourself? Perfect. This is a bunch of people who are also trying to push themselves. So let's, let's have a healthy competition together kind of thing. So that's nice. Um, it, my brain is fried. I also got up today at only at seven and because the workday starts at nine, um, I really understand why I need to get up at six because if I want to do the things that I want to do, which is go for a walk, which I did this morning, just a quick one, or go, what was I saying? Go to the gym and read all in the morning and eat what get a good start to the day i before nine o'clock i need to give myself time to do that and so if I, I i don't want to get into the habit of just getting up at 8 30 waking myself up and then starting at nine because i've done that before and i know that what that results in is it results in me just wasting the evening not utilizing the evening because the hours between the hours between 10 to midnight rarely are effective. They are reliably ineffective, ineffective in terms of the amount of work and product, productive stuff that I can do. So, so then I shouldn't design my day in such a way that <laughs> in order for me to be as productive as I would like to be, it is contingent on me using the hours between 10 and midnight. Um, but again, I, what I also like about today is because, because the work was tough, the work was boring and the work was dull. That's how I know that people won't do it. And if people won't do it, then that, if that's the case, then me doing it will allow me to develop a skill and a set of an expertise and set of skills that other people lack because in order to get those skills and expertise, you need to do the work that needs is required to get those skills and expertise. And if the work is dull, most people won't do it. So then that just gives, it gives me an advantage. It just, things are going on track towards what I would like to be doing. Tonight, I'm going to try to vi edit the videos that I've taken so far so that I can start uploading them right away. I'd like to get in the habit of that. I'm curious the frequency of in which I will be able to do so. It probably will be sporadic, but again, this is not a series I'm trying to promote in as much as it is a s series of moments I'm trying to document and preserve for the future. Yes. <sighs> because then also I'm curious, like, so uh, today I finished reading how to influence friends and how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. And so I'm thinking, well, what if I just read it again and reread each chapter and then write a, it's an essay about what the chapter is about. But the essay is not like an essay in as much as it is a script for me to use to create a video about what that chapter is about for somebody who either doesn't feel like reading the book um, is just looking for general advice or someone who has read the book and is looking for somebody else to explain it some supplementally um, just out of interest. 
So that is a project I could take on. But then, so I know that that type of project will take more effort and focus than just the editing that is involved with this. So the situation I'm trying to avoid is the one in which the, these videos are preventing me from creating the other videos, which I think would have more universal reach. A rider, a, a rider, a wider reach. Um, I also need to figure out where I'm gonna set up because I don't know if I love this angle. There's a bunch of things going on. What's nice though, is all of the signals and signs are indicating that the path I am aiming for is the path I'm currently <laughs> walking in. No, what am I trying to say? I'm on track to the goal that I'm pursuing and I can see I'm making progress and I can see the environment is matching and facilitating that, that growth. Uh, so I'm, I have nothing to complain about the current situation. All there is to do now is to continue and wait until the time comes when I've continued long enough to have made a difference between where I am now and where I will be such that I can speak back to someone who was where I am now or even before with a greater degree of authority. And by greater degree of authority, I mean, I can easily answer the question, why should you listen to me? Because someone who's two years younger than me shouldn't really listen to me. I don't really know much. I can be somewhat helpful in guidance, but there's much more wisdom that will come from me in five, seven years to the me that was two years ago, because there's more perspective. You've lived longer, you've seen more things. Regardless, today has been an exhausting, mentally exhausting day, but I feel good because I know if I keep doing this, then my standard will be such that this mental exhaustion doesn't feel exhausting anymore, but rather it is just the standard I am used to. And then at one point people will go like, how can you do all of that? I go like, well, because I did it for long enough such that it didn't seem hard anymore. So that's that. All I have to say.